One of the first round games at the Class 4A Slow Pitch Softball State Tournament featured number seven Stratford playing 14th ranked Pecola. Stratford had a two to one lead until Pecola's Maddie Hutkins hit the two run home run over the left center field fence and the Pecola bats were just getting warmed up. Freshman Morgan Francis dropped one in center field to score McKay Pipkins and then the next time that Pipkins came to the plate, Carrie Covey's club picked up two more runs. McKay clanked one off the outfield fence for the double that plated both Desi Carter and Brooklyn Morton. Pecola advanced to the semifinals with a 14-2 win. Brian Lyon came into the state event with the ninth-ranked team from Kanawha, and they were matched up with number five, Calera. Kanawha scored first in this one, when Tara Madron pulled one to left field with the bases loaded to score Shelby Campbell, and then Dominique Lyon followed that up with the biggest blow in both the inning and the game. Dominique delivered the grand slam to give the Lady Tigers a five to nothing advantage. Randy Elevold's team then began to claw their way back into it when Dally Halbrooks blasted the solo shot into the parking lot. Kanawha hung on in this one though, six to four. Mike Lawless has the 12th ranked team in class 4A from Silo and they were taking on number two Dale in the quarterfinals. Chrissy Odom connected on the solo home run early in this game to give the Lady Rebels a two to nothing lead. Dale got a big at bat a little later when Shelby Savage stepped to the plate with the bases loaded. Savage sent one over the outfielder's heads that cleared the bases. Danny Manning, Ryan Griggs, and Lauren Hood all scored as Andy Powell's team had taken control. A couple of batters later, London Calvio went right back up the middle with the single to score a sliding Shelby Savage. Dale beat Silo 15 to six. The fourth round one contest had top ranked Washington playing number 13, Oktaha. Washington's Dagan Lampkin doubled to the center field fence and that allowed Macy Cargill to hurry home. Jace Brewer then watched Callie Busby come through with a grand slam that bounced off the top of the left field fence. And then Allie Clements singled and that scored Alexia Hendricks as Washington beat Oktaha 12 to nothing, shut out Pecola 10 to nothing in the semis and then beat Dale 16 to five in the final for the Lady Warriors second straight and 12th overall slow pitch softball state championship.